Real Agriculture's coverage of Agritechnica 2019 is brought to you by Bravant. Seed. Yield. Easy. Sean Annie here with Real Agriculture, and we are at Agritechnica 2019 in Hanover, Germany, brought to you by Bravant, and we are in the Amazon booth, and we're talking to Jeremy Messerly. Jeremy, how's it going? Very good yourself. Doing fantastic here at Agritechnica. Okay, behind us is a very impressive pull-type sprayer. We, we see a lot of self-propelleds in the market, but there still is a, a need and a want from some customers for a pull-type, and this sucker's big. Indeed, so that's uh, that's our biggest model. So it's 11,200 liters. Uh, it's a very uh, very popular for uh, large areas farmer. Uh, so uh, we can equip for, uh, with different boom, different configuration, uh, and uh, this is the uh, the the, uh, the twin axle as well for uh, for the load. So uh, this machine, in terms of, of load, then it's uh, it's just as heavy as a as a one axle with uh, 5,000 liter as well. Yeah, and even with the size, it still keeps under that three meter width restriction here in Europe which is very which very impressive yeah so uh, everything is uh, well engineered so uh, the boom folds very uh, very narrowly uh, the, 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 the the axles are very tidy but with it's a steerable axle as well because it's a twin axle so we, we must have some maneuverability uh, so of course yeah it's uh, it's it's uh, engineering design all the time with uh, with the German products how big a tractor has to be in front of of this sprayer, so of course, uh, you know, from based from the uh, the literature, we can go for from uh, with a 200 uh, horsepower tractor on very very flat land, uh, <laughs> but a bigger tractor would be uh, would be more recomm recommendable because obviously you get hills, uh, you want to take some productivity, you want to go uh, low volumes and uh, very rapidly. So yeah, increasing the tractor there, 200 horsepower could be great as well. Okay, flat land, 200 horsepower in Saskatchewan. We got that, we'll mark, we'll, we'll mark it down. Yes. Okay, uh, boom width. Yeah. The, the, now the size of the sprayer body is impressive, but the boom width, it's uh, we're getting out there and covering some ground. Yes, of course, so in terms of boom size, so we're starting I think from 24 meter up to uh, 40 meter wide. So uh, booms are, uh, are very light. Uh, but they're really, if you look at the, the construction, so it's made of steel that is uh, folded into a certain shape to ensure some strength. And the uh, last section are always in aluminum to uh, reduce the, uh, the load on it. And uh, every section, uh, every time we, uh, we uh, decrease the thickness of the, th of the material to, uh, to have less weight, but to keep a certain rigidity in, in the boom as well. 40 meters, what would we, 131 feet or something like that, or over 130 feet? Yeah, around that, around that, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's a big sprayer. Uh, also, you've got the quick load option on the outside of it to punch those jugs in? Yeah, so basically now, uh, the, this machine has been around for many, many years already, uh, but now we just uh, released a, a new version of the, of the machine, so basically we've changed the operation center, so everywhere that you're going to do your mix, uh, so we've uh, we have now our new uh, our new tap. So we have only one tap to use to do the whole operation of the machine, uh, fully isobus. Uh, so it's compatible with different terminals, uh, and we can do also section control with a single uh, single nozzle uh, section control as well. So it's uh, quite interesting to uh, reduce the uh, the uh, the reduction of the, the herbicide or pesticide. Yeah. There's, you can't have a sprayer without technology nowadays. The sprayer is one of the most technologically advanced units on the farm. Uh, indeed, of course. And uh, we, we at Amazon, it's very important so, for us. So we develop new technology. So we have uh, our swing stop and contour control. So we have some, uh, some uh, device on the boom that can allow the boom to always have the, um, the, right, uh, the right angle to follow the, uh, the ground, but also to follow uh, the contour and uh, not to uh, wiggle from the, the outside like that. So we have some different device that we can add on to the machine to uh, ensure that it's working at its best with uh, some, uh, some the, the best productivity as well. So based on what you see in the Canadian market, what kind of farms are, is there, is there trends or like what kind of farm is specifically looking at a, a pull type? Uh, so they, of course, there's different uh, different type uh, across the whole Canada, but uh, those machines uh, they have a big interest with farmers that uh, wants to have some capacity and wants to increase their productivity. So uh, of course, uh, self propelled units are very interesting. You know, you have a, a dedicated machine for that, but this machine allows a lot of capacity while having just the same productivity as the self propel. 
Well, Jeremy, thanks a lot, and enjoy the rest of Agritechnica. Thank you very much.